I was actually drafted in 1969. I began my service uh, August the 24th, 1966, and I retired 1 September 1996, 30 years, 7 days. I was in for 23 years, 5 months, and 17 days. I was in a total of, it was 14 years, 8 months, and 25 days. I've been in the Army for 12 years. Well, I was in for 21 years. I guess I wanted to serve. Uh, a lot of people think that's funny, but truly, I just wanted a way to give back. One day, the Vietnam conflict had started, and I said, Mama, that's a place I'll never go. Boy, was I wrong. Worked in a pharmacy. I filled prescriptions, worked with pharmacists. I deployed to Desert Storm. Well, when I first started out, I started off as an infantry soldier, and it was a, a, a big accomplishment for me. You know, again, you know, I was 30 years old when I came in. What stuck with me the most out of being in the military is leadership. If I could define everything in one word, it would be leadership. To me, the death of, you know, and trying to do all I could to ensure that my soldiers under my uh, particular responsibility uh, didn't, 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 uh, uh, it didn't happen to them. The connections that the military gives you has stuck with me the most. And you're still growing up in the Army, so it's not like you show up the first day and you know everything. Nope, you still hit those changes in life, just like any other person. And as a woman, I think the thing I miss the most is just being accepted as, as an equal. Now I finally have done something for my parents to be proud of me. Every soldier has a different story. Uh, heartfelt what they did. Some are able to talk about it, some are not. The soldiers that have served since 2001 have really, really given so much more of their own life and their own persona to be in the military. It's, it's much harder than when I was in. If it wasn't, you know, like for the Vietnam veterans, veterans in, you know, World War I, World War II, I don't think that we would have the freedoms that we, that we do now. Look back on the Vietnam experience, I don't feel that I was a hero. I did my job, and there's a lot of emotion, excuse me, there's a lot of emotion because of how the soldiers were treated when they came home, opposed to how they're treated now. You know, now I, I don't think, take things for granted anymore. You know, when I raise my kids, you know, the way we have been, they don't take things for granted. And I look forward to keep serving the military community, uh, even the veterans, uh, now hopefully with my new career with the VA. I look at other soldiers, and I, I consider them to be heroes. But for me, it's service. It's, I think a lot of times I just think, hey, you're doing what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I was not a hero. <laughs> I was just a soldier who did her job every day. I'm not sure how people define it, but to me, um, I feel weird. I feel like they're talking to somebody else because I never feel like uh, I'm, I'm a hero. I don't know. I, I just don't look at myself as a hero. You know, I did my duty. I did it all over again. And if you ask me right now, so I imagine, would you go back and, and do it all over again or do it right now so that I can do what I do here? Yes, ma'am, my bag is packed right now. <laughs>